Hello and welcome to a brand new series of Only Connect, Britain's cleverest quiz, now on BBC Two. I'd like to thank BBC Four, who gave us our break and supported us for nine series. And as a gesture of appreciation, we left. <laughs> yes, it's the bright lights for us. Bye, BBC Four. What are you showing now, eh? Probably something about the Incas or folk music. I bet it's brilliant. <laughs> <sighs> Let's meet the teams. On my right, Ross Goodwin, a government lawyer and keen runner who was once hypnotised at a zoo. Joe Kerrigan, a civil servant with an interest in Irish history whose grandfather used to live on the same street as Nancy Reagan. And their captain, Thomas Williams, an economic student who enjoys fencing, teaching himself new languages and growing bonsai trees. United by a passion for Parliament, they are the politicos. So, Thomas, any weaknesses in the team? Not great on nature, science more generally, but I think we've got most other things covered. Good luck. You are facing tonight, on my left, Simon Termain, a plumber and inventor who is currently inventing a new tool that will revolutionise the bending of copper pipe. Helen Lippel, a Latin and economics graduate with an interest in railways who was featured in a documentary about the Afghanistan cricket team. And their captain, Simon Capel, a database manager at the British Museum who studied Russian for four years but can only remember the word for hedgehog. <laughs> United by a zest for their pets, they are the felinophiles. What can you tell me about the etymology of the word felinophiles? Well, now, I, I know we're going to get in trouble for this because it is a mix of Latin and Greek. Basically, we're the cat lovers. We get a lot of cat lovers on this quiz. Quiz players aren't really dog people. <laughs> They're not. They like the quiet stealth of a cat. Exactly. <laughs> In round one, I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. But if the teams can tell me after seeing fewer than four clues, they will get more points. Felinophiles or felinophiles or cat lovers, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose your Egyptian hieroglyph. Two reeds, please. OK, the two reeds. You will be shouting next if you want to see another clue. The quicker you come in, the more points you get, but you may see up to four clues before you give me the answer. The first one is coming up now. Next. Point of view, oh, these are all. Yeah. Um, oh, craft is also something internet related stuff. I think they might all be Wikipedia, but let's go on more. Next! Yes, that's yes. definitely all Wikipedia. All terms used in Wikipedia editing. These are all terms used in Wikipedia. Quite right. Coming in after three clues, you get two points. You didn't need to see disambiguation page. They are all Wikipedian terminology. Can you tell me what they are? NPOV is neutral point of view. Yes, I mean, sometimes that's ignored, I suspect, on Wikipedia. Uh, a little but... bit. Um, edit war is when two people want to change things and they keep changing it back again. Um, Croft, I ought to remember, but I can't. Croft is like waste or stuff that's left over, but I don't know about it in a Wikipedia context. Croft is sort of excess verbiage, so it might be a massive long page about something not very important, or it might be a list of something that's too specific, and a disambiguation page, which you didn't see, that's when a couple of people have the same name, and they tell you which is which. So well done, and over to you politicos to choose a question. We'll have the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. Again, you may see a maximum of four clues. Here's the first. Next, next, yeah. please. So then the tropical side named after girls. Named... No. It probably is something to do with the naming. So what about this? Tropical side named after girls. No, I think it's the one. Next, please. They go to the left. They all go to the left. Well, that's it. It's to do with the direction of travel. You didn't need to see a dealer button, which also moves to the left, or clockwise. I suppose it's really they all go clockwise, with the race course and the cyclone 
it slightly depends where you're standing, whether it's to the left or the right, but it's clockwise, which is traditionally to the left. So very well done. After three clues, you get two points. And over to the feline files or felina files or felino fillies to choose a question. Horned viper, please. Horned viper. What is the hidden connection here? The time starts now. Next. Oh, that's familiar, and I can't think why. Are you sure he's not yeah. Fanny Credits? Mm. No, because she's probably so and so. All the parents are. Find all the parents are famous. All the parents are famous chefs, yes. Should we go for it? Or go, for it. Go, go for it. Go for it. We think these are parents of famous chefs. I can see why you think that, but I'm afraid that is not oh. the answer. So we're going to show the next two clues to the politicos. You have the chance of a bonus point. Oh, um, they are famous chefs with the first name switched to the equivalent of the opposite gender. That is exactly right. Yes, Nigel Lawson is the father of Nigella, but what we've actually done is change the names of Nigella Lawson, Fanny Craddock, Raymond Blanc and Nigel Slater. We've switched the gender of their names and that's what you get. Well done, that's a bonus point, and you also have a chance to choose your own question. The lion, please. The lion. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Palladium. Oh, that's the palladium. Yeah. So, chemical elements? It could be elements, it could be architecture. Yeah, it's it probably could be elements. Yeah, do we want to risk five five or protect all things? Next, charge. please. Elements. Metallic elements. Iron. Yeah. Yeah, iron. It's yeah, going to be elements. Yes. They share their names with elements. Metallic elements. They share their names with metals. You did very well to spot that after two clues. You didn't need to see a UK policeman or copper or a US five cent coin known as nickel. 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 But you saw the Palladium Theatre and a golf club known as an iron share their names with metals. Very well done. OK, feline files, what would you like? Water, please. Water. Ah, it's the music question. You're going to be hearing the clues, but there's still a connection. You'll be shouting next when you want to hear the next one. Here's the first. Next. Next. Splendor in Paradise. That's Splendor in Paradise. Next. Paradise. 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 Is the right answer. I think you recognise Tony Bennett's Stranger in Paradise and the mm -hmm. last one, Coolio, Gangster's Paradise. Do you recognise the first ones over there? Paradise City, Guns N' Roses. That was the oh. second one and the first in Paradisum from Foray's Requiem. And that leaves one remaining question for the politicos. The twisted facts, please. The twisted facts. I suspect these are going to be picture clues because we haven't had those yet. What's the connection between these pictures? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Three seconds. You want to have a guess? <laughs> Encyclopedias. I can't see a connection, really. I suppose there might be some encyclopedias in that last picture, but no, that's not the connection. So there's a bonus chance for you, feline files. Uh, uh, wings? Yes, that first picture, that child very specifically doesn't have, have water, water wings. Okay. It's got a rubber ring. No, these are all, and I wonder if you'll kick yourselves, idents on BBC Four. Oh, 
Oh. You get them before programmes. I don't on BBC Four. Don't watch much television. Heralding a documentary about the <laughs> Nazis or an old steam railway. <laughs> Let's look at the scores. At the end of round one, the feline files have three points, the politicos have six. In round two, there is a sequence. You still have to work out what's the connection between four apparently random clues, but the fourth clue is invisible, because I want to know what that is. You may only see a maximum of three. Feline files, your turn to go first. Uh, twisted flax, please. OK, you're going to see the first in a sequence. These will be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next. Brand. Branding. Oh, so brandy. Brand. 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 Okay. Yeah. Brand and bra. Yeah. Yep, bra. We think we'll see a bra as the fourth picture. You're hoping to see a bra, are you? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, uh, I, I'll stop there. Well, you won't be disappointed, as hey. I've said to many men before. It <laughs> is a picture of a bra. I think you've identified we're looking at brandy, brand on an animal, bran would have been next, so taking a letter off the end each time, bra would be last. Very well done. OK, politicos, your turn to choose a question. The horned viper, please. The horned viper. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Number of borders. Five seconds. Guatemala. Not the answer. So, feline files, you've got the chance for a bonus. Colombia? That's not it. Now, welcome to Only Connect. This is one of our fiendish sorts of question. Look at the ends of the words. Oh, Suriname may. The ME is the beginning of Mexico. Uh, the CO at the end of Mexico is the beginning of Costa Rica. Canada. Canada. We wanted to hear a country that begins with the letters CA. OK, feline files, your turn for a question. Lion, please. Lion. What would be the fourth in this particular sequence? Here's the first. Next. Names for York. Names for York. So that's probably the end of the sentence. That'd be York. Yeah, so York. York. Yeah. Yep, go for it. York. I'm very impressed. The answer is York. Very well done. And that's, of course, because... It's the name of York through the centuries as different people conquered them. That's it. A Roman name for York, followed by an Anglo-Saxon one, an Old Norse, and then the name became Jork or York, as it's known today. Politico, is your turn. Water, please. Water. What would the fourth thing be in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Two points. Two. Yes. Two. It must be going up, is it? Zero. Two. Four. Who's going to have to see it? What's going down? Two. Two. Next. We're going to have to take one more. Yes. Next, please. One point. So something with no points. I was getting your reviews in context, probably. Yeah. Maybe. What Norway usually gets. Yeah. Five seconds. What a particularly bad country does in Eurovision. <laughs> I will accept that answer. Can you explain why? Because it's three points, two points, one point, and something which gets no points. Exactly. We went for the quiz with Alexander Armstrong and Richard Osman, the pointless quiz show. But yes, you get three points for a minimum speeding penalty, two points in a rugby conversion. Sharpened pencil has one point. We needed to hear something pointless. 
Felinophiles, which question would you like? Two reads. Two reads. What would you expect to see last in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Since I can't think of a, a better answer, first, my colleague here, Simon Termain. I will accept first Simon Termain. We've actually got first Stephen Tompkinson. Talk us through it. It's the letters after the number are the initials of the person. That's it. You're getting the hang of it. It's more hidden letters. TH for Tim Henman, RD for Roald Dahl, ND. It's not second at all, it's two ND. Nadine Doris, and we wanted to hear somebody with the initials ST. You couldn't have picked a better example. <laughs> Lucky you brought him with you. <laughs> Politicos, one question remains, the eye of Horus. It's swivelling its gaze towards you. What would you expect to see fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. It's nothing to me. No, no, I mean, you know it Next, please. Next, please. No, he's not that far. Three seconds. Stephen Wright. Stephen Wright. The comedian. In the afternoon. Or another Stephen Wright. <laughs> it's none of the Stephen Wrights in the world, I'm afraid. So there's a bonus chance for the feline files. You're going to try Tim Cook. The answer is Tim Cook. Well done. Very well done. Who are these people? Um, it, heads of Apple and Tim Cook came after Steve Jobs. That's right. They are the CEOs of Apple. Very well done to you. That means at the end of round two, the Politicos have eight points, the Felinophiles have 13. <laughs> Round three is the connecting wall. 16 clues this time, which the teams need to sort into four connected groups of four. There are red herrings, there are clues that may fit into more than one category, but like a Sudoku, there is only one correct solution. Politicos, you'll be going first this time, so please choose lion or water. The lion, please. OK. You have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall. Starting now. Okay. Um, um, Atticus Finch, Boo Radley, yeah. um, Scout and Jen um, are all characters in... Um, yeah, so is Bubba, Bubba, I think, possibly. Um, I so, can't see any others from that. Though. OK, so sharks, carnival that? shark, nurse shark. Tiger, Tiger shark. shark. And... Bull shark. Great white yeah. shark. Great white, Great white is white. the obvious one, sorry. OK, circle through those, yeah. keep trying. Other ideas, nothing like this. Yeah, cool. yeah. Is Bubba a, or Dill, is one of those a... I think, try Bubba, Gem, um, Atticus and Boo. Mm. No, Scout, Atticus, Boo, Bubba. It's probably... Um, Boo, Scout, Gem, Bubba. Atticus, mm. Scout, Gem, Bubba. Are we barking up the wrong tree? Um, Should we try something okay, else? Okay. Mm. Fuzzy logic. Fuzzy. Sharks are definitely in there, aren't they? Okay, so what if we definitely. Milk's great white. I don't know if a dill shark or a milk shark or a scalp shark. shark. Mm. We need yeah, something there's too, else. There's too many. Okay, so ice cream milk. Mm. Ice cream sandwich. <laughs> fishing trip. Stock fishing market. rod. Yeah. Stock market crash. Could it be cra no. crash? No, okay. Nurse, okay. no, no, tiger, great white bull. No. That's kind of. You've got a minute left. This is a truffle. Ice cream, bubble, scout, 
There is definitely a group there, but I do not know yeah, what the other one is. It's just following the fourth. Mm. Is there a deal? I don't think so. 30 seconds. Yeah. Fuzzy, yes, Bubba, well so well done. Fuzzy, Bubba are golfers. Golfers, Bubba Watson, oh, Fuzzy, um, and Great White, White is, um, yes. Yeah, so and is there another bloke called uh, Boo? Is there some Boo, somebody, a uh, golfer? Tiger, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods Fuzzy Geller. Uh, Bubba Watson, it's not Great White, it's Great White's uh, a nickname. Yeah. Um, uh, and the time ah. is up. But you snatched a group from the jaws yeah, of confusion. Jaws of so confusion, that's a point, yes. and I'll give you a bonus point if you can tell me what connects Dill, Atticus, Gem, Scout. Yeah, they're characters from The Mockingbird. That's right, Gem and Scout are the children, Dill's the friend of theirs. OK, you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. What about that one? Boo, Baba, Tiger, Fuzzy. They're nicknames of golfers, or names of golfers. First names of golfers. That's it, you yeah. spotted that late in the day. Boo yeah. Weekly, Tiger Woods, Bubba Watson and Fuzzy Zola. Nicknames of golfers. And the pink group, Nurse, Great White, Milk, Bull. They're all types of shark. Those are the sharks. And the last one, Fishing, Carnival, <laughs> Stock Market, Ice Cream. Uh, no, I don't think we've got a clue. No, no you're not spotting it not there. Spotting it. it is floats. You get a fishing float, yeah. a carnival float, of course, yeah. in a parade, a stock market float and an ice cream float when you drop it into a fizzy drink yeah. or, as I like to, a whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, you've got a point for finding one of the groups and three bonus points for the connections. That is a total of four. Time to bring back the Felina files now, or the Felina files, and give them a new connecting while, wall, well, I'm lost. 16 fresh clues that still need sorting into four connected groups of four. It'll be the water wall for you, cat fans. The lion has been taken. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Um, restless. Restless, restless. restless. So Undertaker, got, Big, Daddy. Big Daddy. Triple H, I think, is a wrestler. Do we have a fourth one? Brick. Could be could brick. Or oh, brick could be a hanger. Yeah. Uh, CM Punk, is that a wrestler? Try. Try it. No. Let's the try these take. three again. Yeah. They're likely to be. Shall I try horse? Okay, let me tr let me keep trying a few of these. You guys yeah. see what else you can find. I, I think we should try some lanes. Hey, brick, so hanger, peg. Lane. Lane. Chancery. Yes. Mm. Park lane? Yeah. Yeah. Brick lane. Brick. That's hanger lane isn't spelt like that. Right. Yes, it is. It is spelt like that. OK, is I'll work it? through yes. those options. OK, fine. Yeah, OK, well done. Right, so... Um, Brush and Peg feel like they go together, but mm. I'm not quite sure why. Do we know anything about Gooper? No. Could be another wrestler. The CM Punk. Horse. Is that a wrestler? Mm, I've be, tried horse with tried, these three. Have you, but tried, have you tried Gooper as a wrestler? I haven't, but there's no guarantee that those three are all right. Yeah. So, line, brush, and peg, and brick feel like they go together, but I'm not yeah. quite sure. Let me try it just as a. No, okay. Christian? Magic. Magic Christian, magic line. What's a magic magic brush. Magic Christian's a film. Okay. Okay, we'll try that. Magic line, any other magics? Magic. Horse? We'll try it. Magic Peg, Magic Gooper. No, I don't think this is right. OK. I still think we've got wrestlers. Yeah, we've definitely got some wrestlers. The Undertaker and Triple H would definitely Chris have to be in there. Big Daddy, probably. I tried, yeah, I tried Big Daddy with various things. I'll try it with Christian and with Maggie, but I'm doubting that Big Daddy's in there now. We're quite short of time, guys. I know. Yeah. What else is Ten Imagine. seconds. OK. Um, Five seconds. Should I just pick some things at random? Just chance. And the time is up. The okay. wall is frozen. But you found two groups, so that's two points, and you can have bonus points for the connections. Park, Drury, Hangar, Chancery. These are all lanes in, in London. London. They are London lanes. Christian, CM Punk, Triple H, The Undertaker. These are professional wrestlers. Well, I, I'll take the word professional loosely. They are <laughs> yeah. WWE wrestlers. You can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. 
OK. Gooper. Maggie, Brick, Big Daddy. They are characters from the... Oh, the thing with... Um... The thing with what? what? It's too long. Yeah. I can't take it. They are characters from the Tennessee Williams play Williams. Cat on a Hot, Hot Tin Hot. Roof. And the last group, Line, Peg, Horse, Brush. Both? Yeah, they can all be preceded by clothes. Yes, they can. Clothes, line, clothes, peg, clothes, horse, clothes, brush. At the conclusion, you get two points for the groups that you found and three more points for the connections. That is a total of five. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Politicos have 12 points. The Feliner Files have 18. Round four is the missing vowels round. We take well-known names, phrases or sayings, take out the vowels and switch up the consonants. And I want the teams to tell me what those hidden words are. They will still come in connected groups of four and I'll tell you the connections up front. But beware, teams, if you get anything wrong, even so much as a consonant, this time I will take a point away. So fingers on buzzers, I can tell you that the first group are all balls smaller than a tennis ball. Feline of Isles. Golf ball. Correct. Politicos. Squash ball. Correct. Don't know this one. It's human eyeball. Next clue. Politicos. Table tennis ball. Correct. Next category, animals and their noises. Politicos. Bee and buzz. Correct. Feline of Isles. Cheek and bar. I like the impression. Correct. <laughs> Next clue. Felines. Cow and moo. Correct. Politicos. Cock and cock. Not a noise in an animal that go together, I'm afraid. So a bonus chance. Feline of Isles. Cuckoo and cuckoo. The answer is cuckoo and cuckoo. Next category, they are all represented by the letter C. Felines? 100. Correct. Felines? 12 in hexadecimal. Very good. Don't know this one. Well, it's the end of the quiz. That was ascorbic acid, or vitamin C. But that noise means we have finished for tonight. And at the end, the Politicos have an excellent 14 points, but the winners with 24 points, it's the Felinophiles. Very well done to you. You are straight through to the next round. Politicos, you need to win another game to get to the next round. So, in a way, you're also going into a next round, but it's a different sort of next round. New viewers, please take note that compared to the structure of the competition, the questions are easy. But thank you all very much for playing. We'll see you again and join me next time where two more teams will be sitting on a knife edge, which they've elected to do because we brought our studio furniture across from BBC Four and a knife edge is marginally more comfortable. Goodbye. <laughs>